Question number 131, match the following columns and select the correct option with respect to the compounds involved in ATS. A, complex 1. Complex 1, it is NADH dehydrogenase and this complex receives the electrons from NADH plus H plus. So A matches with second option number 1, 3 and 4 are ruled out. It's very easy for you. B matches with fourth cytochrome C oxidase complex. It contains two copper centers. True. C matches with third complex 2. Provides reducing equivalence to ubiquinone. Yes, complex 2 is succinate dehydrogenase. It provides reducing equivalence to ubiquinone. So this is true. And D matches with first cytochrome BC1 complex. Receives electrons from ubiquinone. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 132. If we take glycerol as respiratory substrate, then the first molecule that enters the respiratory pathway is glycerol. If used as respiratory substrate, then the first molecule which enters the respiratory pathway will be phosphoglyceraldehyde. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 133. Identify the given statements as true or false and select the correct option. A. In an idealized sigmoid growth curve for cell in culture, stationary phase cannot be observed. It is not true. Stationary phase will be observed in the sigmoid growth curve. B. Increase in dry weight can also be a parameter to measure growth. True. Development is the sum of two processes, that is growth and differentiation. It is also true. So false, true, true. By analyzing the option, we can say the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 134. The plant growth regulator that is involved in all of the following functions is to overcome apical dominance, to promote nutrient mobilization, to delay leaf senescence without seeing anything if you are seeing that it is returned to overcome apical dominance this is the only hormone which is cytokinin so the correct option for the given question is option number four because cytokinin overcome the apical dominance and auxin is responsible for the apical dominance let's move to the next question question number 135 the effect of inhibitory chemicals in seeds that provide their dominancy can be removed by application of certain chemicals like Nitrates, phenolic acids, abscisic acids or para-ascorbic acids. These three chemicals promote dormancy. But dormancy can be removed by application of nitrates. So the correct option for the given question is option number 1. I hope you have got all the answers for your queries. All the best for your next AITS. Till then, keep studying, keep learning. Thank you. Mm -hmm.